Thank you again for joining us on the calls this morning. I trust the next 30 minutes will be a tremendous blessing to you and to your family. Would you call a friend and invite someone to watch with you on the program today? And if you got a friend, a family member that's not saved, not in the will of God, not in church, would you get a hold of them right now? Get them to watch the program this morning. And I know the program and the message will be a blessing and a help to them today on the program. Now, I want us to go into the conference center where my neighbor, Brother Jimmy Cottle, will be singing a powerful song entitled, He Loved Me to Death. There were no flowers, only thorns, no costly clothes, just a road that was torn. And he never gave me diamonds or gold, but the story of his love is the greatest ever told he loved me to death until the end when he prayed forgive them it's a love that's not measured by height or death Love me today. How could he love someone like me as undeserving as I could be? I don't deserve his mercy. I don't deserve his touch, but on the cross with arms wide open, he said, I love you this much. He loved me to death until the end. When he prayed, forgive them. It's a love that's not measured. It's a love that's not measured by height or death. And even when I didn't love him, thank God he loved me to death. He loved me to like me as undeserving as I can be I don't deserve his mercies I don't deserve his touch but on the cross with arms wide open he said I love you this much he loved me today until the end when he prayed forgive them it's a love that's not measured by height or death even when I didn't love him he loved me today it's a love that's not measured by height or depth even when I didn't love him he loved me
today. Hello, I'm Donnie Oates, the pastor of Vandalia Baptist Church in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're an independent fundamental Baptist church with ministries for all ages. Vandalia Christian School has over 650 students in K-3 through the 12th grade, where they receive spiritual instruction excellent academic preparation for college and career. Families are already enrolling for the next school year. Check out our website or call for worship times, ministry opportunities, or school information. And please accept my invitation to come and worship with us. This King James Bible is placed 400 different devotions that I know will be a blessing to you. Some of the authors, C.S. Lewis, D.L. Moody, Charles Spurgeon, and many, many more that I know will be an encouragement to you and to your family. Get your copy today, a love gift of $60 plus shipping and handling. This could be made available to you today on the program, and I know it will be a blessing to you and to your family for years to come. Hi, I'm Fran Tarkington. You may remember me from running around the NFL for some 18 years as quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings and New York Giants. Since retiring from the NFL, I have spent the past 30 plus years in the business world where I have started and operated several successful businesses. Today we are living in uncertain times. Fixed interest rates on investments are at historic lows and the stock market is extremely volatile, up one day and down the next. Many Americans are looking for ways to earn more interest on their money without having to endure the ups and downs of the stock market. I would encourage you to consider looking at a tax deductible Charitable Gift Annuity with Greg Lentz Ministries. A tax-deductible gift annuity through Greg Lentz Ministries provides you with a guaranteed fixed monthly income for life while continuing to earn interest on your money. I encourage you to call Greg Lentz Ministries today at 1-866-631-7693 to see what interest rate you qualify for. Now, would you get your Bible and turn to Luke chapter number 22, starting in verse number 31, as we go into the third part of this powerful message entitled, The Con Artist or the Con Man. Notice what the scripture says again. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. And definitely the closer we get to the coming of the Lord, the more intense the pressure is going to be put on the household of faith and the Christian believer to literally be sifted by Satan in this dark day right before the coming of the Lord. So let me encourage you. Aren't you glad the next verse says that Jesus prayed for thee? which means that he's praying for you, he's interceding for you and I today. And no matter what we may face today or tomorrow, we've got a friend that will stick closer than a brother. Now let's go into the third part of this powerful message entitled, The Con Artist Today. And what we are showing this generation is Satan is after this generation. He's after you. He's after me. And he's out there as the great con artist. And he said, hey, just come my direction. You'll have fun. You'll fit in with the crowd. You'll, you'll be popular. You'll, you'll have all the things that you ever dreamed of. Just come with me. But the actual truth about it and the actuality about it is he never shows you the end result result of what he's about to do in your life. See, he's the great deceiver. He wants to deceive you. But not only does he want to deceive you, he wants to destroy your life in sin. He would love to take young folks off of these chairs and turn them into crackheads. You better listen. He'd love to take young people off of these chairs and, and turn them into prostitutes on the street. He would love to take young folks out of a Christian school environment, much like Marilyn Manson was inside of a Christian school and totally turn to a reprobate mind and a reprobate lifestyle even inside of a Christian school environment. Why? Because he said, I don't want what they have to offer. I want to go my own direction. And they begin to become manipulated by the great con artist by the great deceiver and every time they do it always brings destruction to somebody's heart and life. I've never seen a teenager after Satan is finished with them that is sitting there 
and enjoying the life that they're living. I've never seen one teenager that I've interviewed that I've talked to thousands upon thousands. I've went in the homes of teenagers that literally are puking their guts up because of the drugs and the alcohol that they're involved in. And yes, they come out of Christian school environments. And yes, they come out of Christian home environments. And you go inside of that home. I've never seen one of them as I stood there over that little lifeless body say, man, I'm in enjoying what I'm involved in. Why? Because Satan, the great con artist, the great deceiver, he is after you. He's after me. And the word of God said, Jesus even warned Simon Peter, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat, which means literally get you to the place where you will fall prey to what he has to offer. You need to understand his deception is so strong he begins to call, he begins to manipulate, he begins to say winner, winner every time, just come down the midway, just come down the party way, just come down this pathway and he never shows you the end result of that destroyed life. He never shows you the end result of that teenager that becomes rebellious and throws up their hands and says I don't want anything to do with what you have to offer and literally what happens is they become a teenager that's so wrapped up in themselves, so wrapped up in sin, so wrapped up in that lifestyle that Satan has manipulated them like a puppet on a string and they become manipulated right in the center of being around a good environment and they listen to the world, they've listened to the flesh, they've listened to the, uh, to the con artist of this society and he's put them in the wrong pathway and when he or she gets in that circumstance I've never seen M&M &M come to them and say hey I'll come and help you I've never seen Marilyn Manson come to their aid I'll help you I've never seen Lady Gaga leave her wealth and riches and come to the hospital room of that young person that's literally messed up in sin I've never seen little Wayne come with all of the all of the brackets that he has in his mouth and all of the niceties of everything that he has and the rap and the and the influence of this day I've never seen them leave their wealth and their society to come aid one teenager that listened to their lie listen to their falsehood listen to their untruth because Satan just wants to get you wrapped up in it Satan wants to get you bound in it Satan wants to get you attracted to it Satan wants to get you manipulated by it and then he will leave you to yourself he's the great con artist he's the master of deception he wants to deceive you he wants to destroy you but there's an end result to his work and his ultimate desire is that every person inside of this building that has never been saved by the grace of God, his ultimate desire is to damn you. His ultimate con is to come and manipulate you in such a magnitude that you don't want to hear what anybody has to say. And him literally come to the place where he so deceives you he so manipulates you and destroys you and gets you hooked on him that he begins to tell you the lie. Man, hell's gonna be a party time. Hell's gonna be a fun time. I've had teenagers look me in the face and they said, man, you, you keep doing what you wanna do. Said, but we've done made our mind up. We're going to hell because that's where all of our buddies are going to go. And that's where we're going to have a party at. And that's where we're going to have all the fame and the fortune and all of those things. That's where we're going to have a good time at. But what you got to realize is that there is an end result to what Satan has to offer. 
There is an end result to what Satan has to give. There is an end result to what Satan has to present to you. And the word of God said, it's a place where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. The Bible said it's a place of suffering, a place of heartache. It's a place where there's outer darkness. It's a place where the worm dies not. It's a place that will be gnashing of teeth, which literally means that you will begin to gnaw on each other, wishing to God that you could die, but there's no death to be given because you are an eternal being and you will be placed in that place of suffering, that place of heartache, and the devil and all the demons of hell, which was what hell was prepared for, will be there in that black like outer darkness laughing at you and mocking you and said, hey, aren't you having a good time now while you're sitting there tumbling in the darkness, while you're sitting there falling to your demise, while you're sitting there screaming and begging and every message you've ever heard, every invitation that was ever given, every gospel message that's ever been presented to you will play in your computer over and over again and all of those times that the devil man manipulated you, all the times that the devil mocked you, all the times that the devil uh, totally uh, deceived you and brought you to that place, he'll replay and you'll replay and you'll wish to God, just like the rich man, if I could just have five seconds out of this torment to get a drop of water upon my tongue, I wish to God I could get out of this place and my friend, it's not a party world, it's not a make-believe of Steve even Spielberg, it is a literal place. It is a suffering place. It is a place of damnation. It is a place where the worm dieth not and the greatest deception that could ever be placed is there's gonna be Christian people and, and individuals that thought the person beside of them was going to heaven, but they'll find when they get to heaven, they're missing and there'll be people that thought they were going to heaven that sit on a church pew sit inside of a Christian school environment, heard preaching and heard the word of God and said no to Jesus and they'll find themselves in hell and in the destructive place of sin and suffering and they'll be saying, oh, I thought I was okay. I thought I was saved. I thought I was right with God. But they will find themselves in the lake of fire and the ultimate deception to this generation is for you to stay like you are. And the greatest lie that this con artist has is man, you got plenty of time. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to get right with God in this chapel service. You don't have to go all the way. You don't have to believe what that preacher's saying. You've got plenty of time to choose yourself. You've got plenty of time to think it out for yourself. You've got plenty of time, but there's not one person in this building from the back of the bleachers to this front where I'm standing that can promise me you have this afternoon. There's teenagers that are going out into eternity almost as fast as those that are 70 and above years of age. Death has no respect of age. And every person in this building, the greatest lie that Satan can present to you is, man, I've got plenty of time. We're walking in the midway now. We're walking down the pathway. And here's the great con artist. Hey, come with me. Look at the ladies and look at the guys and look at the party and look at the good times and look at the influence of the music and look at the influence of Hollywood and look at the influence of all. Come my way, winner, winner every time. You will love your journey if you'll just come my way. But go to the end of that way. And the Bible says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of of death. I want to read 
one more verse in your hearing. See, Satan is after you. How's he gonna do it? He's gotta entertain you. He's gotta entice you. He's got to entangle you. He's got to get you wrapped up in what he has to offer. Satan wants to bring you to that place where you reject Jesus and reject getting right with God. And if you're a Christian, you would even get to that place where you would reject getting right with Jesus and living for God. But Deuteronomy chapter number 30 and verse number 19 makes this powerful statement. Brother Jimmy, I want you to come and get ready at the piano. Deuteronomy chapter number 30, verse number 19, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. God is setting a pathway in front of everybody in this building today. And you've got a choice to make, will I choose Jesus or will I choose the con artist that does not want good out of my life? Will I choose the cross or will I choose sin? Will I say yes to Jesus and his love and his mercy and his forgiveness that can be yours and mine? Or will I choose my own route, my own path? Will I choose my peers and the pressure around me to stay like I am? Or will I for one time in my life, own up to where I am spiritually with God and say yes to Jesus Christ. Every testimony you've heard this week from Brother Charles to, where's Adam at? Right here. And Miss Bethany. From all of you, it's been the same thought. I had to come to a choice. I had to come to a place where I either rejected or I said yes. I had to come to a place where it didn't matter anymore what the person beside of me may think. It didn't matter anymore what my buddy that I play ball with thinks. It didn't matter anymore what, what somebody else may say or think of me. I had to come to my choice and my decision. And you can either Go by the way of the cross and Jesus Christ or you can be manipulated by the con artist that says, come my way, winner, winner, every time. And find out when you get there, I wish to God I'd have never went down that road. With every ounce of love that I have within me please don't go the way of the con artist don't go the way of Satan's deception because Jesus made it very plain he has desired to have you which way will you go I know the third part of this message has been a tremendous blessing to you on the program today. Don't forget, if you'd like to have this message on CD or DVD in its entirety, you can go to the website, greglinsministries.com, or you can write us P.O. Box 2381, Salisbury, North Carolina, 28145, or you can call us 866-631-7693. And if you're there and you've never been saved by the grace of God, our prayer and desire for you today on the program is that you would come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your heart and life today. Let us pray with you. Let us help you today to show you how you can be changed by the power of a living God. And then also, when you go to the website, don't forget if you could help us by sponsoring the program 
52 Club, you can join that a dollar a week, a dollar a Sunday, or $52 a year, and that would help us to pay for airtime that we can continue the program into your home each and every week. As well, if you'd like to have the new choir project entitled The Message of the Cross, you can get that on CD as well. Go to the website again, greglinsministries.com. If you would, would you please write us? Let us know the program has been a help and a blessing to you today. Until next week, this is Evangelist Greg Lentz saying good day. God bless you. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming again. I'm so excited to offer you today on the program this new study devotional Bible compiled of over 400 authors and teachers of the Word of God. They have put their favorite devotion, their favorite scripture, and inside this King James Bible is placed 400 different devotions that I know will be a blessing to you. Some of the authors, C.S. Lewis, D.L. Moody, Charles Spurgeon, and many, many more that I know will be an encouragement to you and to your family. Get your copy today, a love gift of $60 plus shipping and handling. This could be made available to you today on the program, and I know it'll be a blessing to you and to your family for years to come. Hi, I'm Brant Darkington. You may remember me from running around the NFL for some 18 years as quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings and New York Giants. Since retiring from the NFL, I have spent the past 30 plus years in the business world where I have started and operated several successful businesses. Today we are living in uncertain times. Fixed interest rates on investments are at historic lows and the stock market is extremely volatile, up one day and down the next. Many Americans are looking for ways to earn more interest on their money without having to endure the ups and downs of the stock market. I would encourage you to consider looking at a tax-deductible charitable gift annuity with Greg Lentz Ministries. A tax-deductible gift annuity through Greg Lentz Ministries provides you with a guaranteed fixed monthly income for life while continuing to earn interest on your money. I encourage you to call Greg Lentz Ministries today at 1-866-631-7693 to see what interest rate you qualify for.